By the Fellowship of the University of Nottingham invested in my office, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Laws Norris Kamzai. Congratulations, Mark. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> That's, that, that, that really makes it very special. I had uh, a fabulous time here uh, between 1982 and 1985. Uh, my primary degree was geography, but uh, I studied together that with uh, economics and international relations. And if I look at the career I've had in my 29 years in Ford, which have taken me all over the world and into all kinds of different places, it was uh, surprisingly good training for what was to come afterwards. I, I had a, a lot of fun. I was in uh, Lenton Hall um, for um, yeah, three years. I was. I decided I had the rest of my life to cook and wash up and worry about that. And I was. It was quite involved in hall sport and uh, that sort of thing. I played you know, football for for three years and, and enjoyed that. Professor John Cole was a, a great exponent of regional geography and I can remember at the start of every lecture we'd be doing, ironically, we'd, you know, one of the big studies we did was the USSR and um, he would lay out you know, sort of ten different characteristics about a country that you were going to look at and study and understand and how they all fitted together. And funny enough, when I was involved in, uh, in Russia, one of the biggest things I did with Ford in Russia was set up, uh, or part of a team that set up a, a joint venture with uh, a, a Russian company called Solars to triple our manufacturing production. And when we were sort of going through that, you know, kind of the stuff that John Cole had taught you to think about in terms of looking at all these different multivariate disciplines and saying, how does this all come together into one cogent strategy? It was, uh, that was something that you never thought you'd be able to dig out from the past and use again. You, know, you never quite know what you're going to need in life and uh, yeah, I think one of the, the advantages of a degree like geography and the breadth also to do economics and international relations was that you had a very broad uh, sort of background that when you come into a company like Ford and do the type of roles I do now, yeah, there is no cookbook to it. It is really looking at everything that is going on and saying, well, how do I turn that into a you know, sort of cogent strategy that we can move forward on? Ford, uh, obviously, we've been through some very tough times and still going through some uh, fairly tough times in Europe. So graduate recruitment hasn't been on the scale that it was, but we are, we are just moving back into it. It's a slightly different process uh, to the milk round that, that used to exist. Uh, but we are now looking for uh, graduate trainees across all disciplines, particularly engineering. Um, there's a lot of, uh, it, within Britain, there's a lot of engineering goes on for Ford, particularly on the design engineer of uh, low carbon technologies. Within one Ford, you know, the role of Ford of Britain is really to take the lead on a lot of the powertrain uh, en engineering. So we're always hungry for uh, talented engineers to come into the company. And that's where my paths cross with Professor Paul Shaler, um, uh, because we are working with him and part of an industry consortium on an uh, initiative called the Advanced Propulsion Centre, which together with the government and the Automotive Council is designed to ensure that we bring together the best that government can offer with the best that industry can offer and the best that you know, the top universities can offer and really work together to ensure that Britain is at the leading edge of powertrain technology and you know, giving the customer you know, as good a fuel economy as you can. I think the Advanced Propulsion Centre initiative is very good. Ford is involved in that very heavily. Nottingham is, is involved in that as well. My elder daughter is now doing, has just completed her first year of medicine here. And uh, if you really, I say, if you really want to understand the circle of life is to bring your daughter back to the university where you met her mother. And the, the University of Missions showed no mercy because they even put her in the same hall of residence that I used to be in. So uh, yeah, that was, that was a special memory and a nice that yeah, the tradition continues.